In today's tutorial, I'll guide you through how to use the by sort command. Now, Stata has a lot of useful applications, but everything that you do stays within the same metrics. You only have one metrics where you can do calculations on. You can call it a data set or a data frame or however you call it in other languages. But it's basically one piece of information, one block, one metrics that has information on it. And because everything is in there, in addition to some locals and hidden variables, you can use very powerful commands to get information from that data set very efficiently. And you use that using the by sort commands. And I'll guide you through how to use that thing efficiently today. And this is really a game changer big time in Stata. So when we open up our previous data set of the auto file, what you can do is create summary statistics. Say I want to create a summary statistics of the weight of the car. Right, you have some basic summary statistics. And now I'd like to get the summary statistics of the weight of the car by the trunk space of the car. So then what I'd have to do is I'd have to open up the data set. I look at the weight of the car, then I look at the trunk of the car. Okay, well, there's a trunk 11, 12, 16. I can't remember the other two. So some weight if trunk is, is, which means is equal to, is it equal to, question mark, 10. And then you get that variable. Then you need to do it again for a number 12. And then again for another number, which is really time consuming. But there is a way how you can do this very efficiently using Stata. And that is by using the by sort commands. What you could simply do is by sort trunk. And again, this is an abbreviation, but I always like to use them. I want to sum the weight of the car. And then you get all of the summary statistics in one go of this variable. And it's really powerful. So as you can see, by trunk is five, you get this one, trunk is six, you get that weight. And as we had before, you get the same results. So it's really a powerful tool. And this doesn't just work by weight. It works with many different operators. So if you want to um, by sort trunk or Let's do foreign. By sort foreign generates the maximum of a variable, then you can simply get the maximum of the trunk size. And then we now sum this maximum variable, which is by the way a very poor name. You see it's either one of two values. And if we now by sum it with foreign, we can split up this variable. And we see that now we have exactly two variables that are exactly the same across all of these items. So you can also use it with generate commands. You can use it with many other different things. You can use it with regressions um, by sort. Again, foreign because it's an easy division. Regress, trunk on weight. And then you get two different regressions. So it's really efficient here for domestic and here for foreign cars. So for foreign cars, the result seems to be less significant or not significant at all. And for domestic, there appears to be a relation. So you can use this by sort command in many different applications, and that makes it so incredibly powerful. So thank you so much for listening to today's tutorial. I hope that you found it interesting and that you're now going to use the by sort commands. The by sort command is something that's so powerful and fundamentally changes how you use Stata. That is something that you really want to adopt as early on as possible because it allows you to go through all observations of a specific variable very easily. And if you change your data, if you make it larger or you append other things to it, or you just remove some stuff, the by sort command allows you to go through all of the observations independent of what's actually in there. So if you remove, say, uh, one of the firms from your data set, you can still do the analysis. You don't have to specify every firm, you just say by sort firms, and then you go. So it makes it generate generalizable, the piece of code, which is very powerful. Thank you so much for listening and until the next data tutorial.